Uh, I'm a lesbian. They, she. Mm -hmm. Uh, they, he, non-binary, trans, mass. Bisexual? Oh, I'm oh, just oh. trans. I'm a gay male pup. Yeah. <laughs> gay male pup? Yeah. Uh, transgender. He am. <laughs> I'm, uh, this, she, her. Probably non-binary, yeah, would be the best. What about you? Bye. So lesbian. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I like frogs, not people. I'm sorry? I like frogs, not people. What do you have to say for people who don't fit in your definition of man or woman? I'm a biologist. Mm -hmm. I understand the biology. Are you saying that a woman is only a person who has two X chromosomes and a man who is someone who only has an X and a Y chromosome? I think that's the scientific definition. Yes. It's actually not because there can be people with XXY. There can be Y chromosome mm -hmm. inactivation. The way that this biology works mm -hmm. is that you have genes. Those mm -hmm. genes make proteins. Those proteins develop the traits that you define as men and women. They develop the features that you define as male. They develop the genitalia. Mm -hmm. But you can be a woman with female genitalia and be XY. What? You can be a man, but you could you can have XX chromosomes. Yeah, I understand what you're talking about, Grace. You're talking about a very rare condition known as yes. intersexed. One right? in 100 people experience chromosomal differences in sex. Okay, mm. but not one in 100 have different genitalia or ambiguous yes. genitalia. Yes. And what do you say to those people? Well, what you say is that's a situation that is not the norm. We're not saying that they're not people, obviously. As I understand it, maybe you know more about it than me, well, when you do have a truly intersexed person, at, at that point, either the parents or when they're old enough, they can decide which way they're going to orient themselves and they can get the appropriate surgery. But that's not what we're experiencing so in our culture. It's okay for people to decide their gender. Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> in that situation, but that's not what we're talking about in our culture. What we're talking about in our culture are people with perfectly normal functioning sexual organs trying to have them removed yes. and trying to transition to another gender, which is impossible scientifically. Yes. Have you ever doubted that you're a man? Mm -hmm. You've doubted that you... Oh, have I ever doubted I'm a man? No, I have never doubted then I'm a man. Then what do you say to a transgender person who has never doubted their gender? You're saying that we all change and that obviously transgenderism is a product of some kind of phase, but you've never doubted that you're a man. So no, where's, I'm, your, look, where's your development of this change? Grace, I'm not denying there are people truly with gender dysphoria. I've already said that. What I'm saying is, is the way out of that problem is not surgery according to the data. Listen, honey, it's just basic biology. What you are saying is a very, very limited uh, number of people that are actually suffering from like gender dysphoria and biological differences, whatever. For the overwhelming majority of people that you see on college campuses in America or UK, whatever it is, one of these liberal hellholes, it's just a phase for them. It's just nothing more than narcissism and validation and la hoo hoo, look at me everyone, I'm different, I'm special. Give me some attention and some social clout. And that's how they do it. Some of, most of them grow out of it, some of them they don't and it is what it is but just see it for what it is just narcissism on full display i do have a child that identifies as a cat he is 14 years old and then i also have a five-year-old daughter and she just came out to me as a lesbian earlier this week um and then i also have a seven month old that i don't know their gender or sexuality yet because they're too young to decide they can't even talk yet so my son the 14 year old that identifies as a cat his name is hermy and then my middle daughter, um, my middle child, her name's Clydia, and then my youngest name is Plushy. So I use a gender neutral name for my last kid since I decided I was gonna raise them with they them pronouns because I didn't want to assume their gender. Since my other two kids um, are part of the LGBT community, I wanted to make life easier for my youngest kid. I don't know if this is a joke or gimmick, trolling or it's a fact. If it's a fact, then whoever uh, decided to put babies in that uh, disgusting human uh, should like not be locked up. Second of all, this person should uh, be investigated by the police because you're corrupting kids at a young age and it's not the government or the teachers doing it, it's you doing it. 
and I think that you should just leave the kids alone and let them make up their minds. Are you a male or female? I'm an email. In an email. In not a male. You're not a female. You are email. I'm email, email. Yes, I mean I am email. This grammar now wow. And what's your agenda? Yeah, my agenda is my love. Funke! Love. Yes. And then what's your sex? Sex. My sex is my feelings. Wow! Your feelings. Yes. Okay. If you're a boy who likes pink and dolls and ballet, then you must be a girl. You can't just be a boy who likes the colour pink, dolls and, and ballet. Give me a break. Alrighty, everybody. Repeat after me. Asexual, pansexual, uh. bisexual, trans people and non-binary people are 100% valid and definitely part of the LGBTQ community. And if you don't like that, suck my dick. That escalated quickly, but it goes to show you that what I've said before is 100% true. So these people are just full-blown narcissists. And that's pretty much it. They just live in the me, 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 give me attention uh, generation and they just go on the internet and say the dumbest stuff just in hopes that someone pays attention to them. I don't hear the men whining about OnlyFans models getting paid more than them. I don't hear the men whining it's about models getting paid Dude. more than them. Kendall Does... Jenner is the highest paid supermodel. Where are the male supermodels? But whenever out. men dominate in an industry, women will just complain. It's 100% correct, but you see, a lot of men are just not into the social issues or whatever, and that's pretty much it. And a lot of men don't really focus on like makeups and products and costumes or whatever, and women do, because uh, for them it's just like peacocking. That is why you have um, famous females like uh, Kylie Jenner or any other Jenner or Kardashian being uh, super famous is because uh, they advertise all these peacocking products. How many genders are there? Too many. There's a spectrum of genders you can't really say. Like an unlimited amount you would say? Yeah. Yeah. Do you yeah. think that like if a man identified as a woman mm -hmm. he should be able to go into the women's restroom? No. Yeah. 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 If he had like let's say he still had like a penis and everything like that and he just Creator. identifies a woman that's cool for him to go in there? Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, Don't if they're a woman, they're a woman. Nope. Yeah. You think you can be a woman with a penis? Mm -hmm. No, she doesn't. Fair enough. Never forget that these people are on college campuses, so they pay literally a fortune to be brainwashed. And they are supposedly the, the future elites of the population, and they are supposed to be, like, educated. you have to say when people say that you have internalized your racism? Internalized racism is one of those foolish terms like toxic masculinity. They just made it up, right? I, and I actually asked them, what do you actually mean? Yeah. Are you suggesting that deep down inside what I want to do is to help create a society that I can't live in? Like my idea is that what can I do to disadvantage myself in this society? What can I do to make sure that my biracial children have a hard time in this society, right? You can't just say stuff. You can't just say words and not be asked to explain yourself. So explain to me how that would work. Why would any person in their right mind want to make a society in which they cannot flourish in, right? It's foolishness. It's to be ignored. Everything that I have done has been to expose the lies that have been keeping black America down for the last 60 to 70 years. And I hope that my work speaks for itself, especially in the form of revealing the scam that is Black Lives Matter. Thank you. Why can't I identify as a black lesbian? <laughs> Well, firstly, I mean, it was... Well, I'm serious. Her. I'm serious. If I can identify as anything mm -hmm. without any need to prove I'm actually what that is, I, I why th can't I, on International Women's Day, say, I'm Piers Morgan, I'm a black lesbian? I think taking it to a kind of absurd no, status... No, no. I think, where I think that's what... About quite a with respect, I think that you've already opened the absurdity door by saying it is limitless. You can do what you like. Anyone can say... I'm a woman. The reason why you cannot identify as black anything if you're white or any other uh, skin color except black is because uh, you know deep down that uh, black people will never accept you as one of their own and they know that so they can only do that with gender but they will never never ever in a million years do that with race because they know that once uh, they start uh, painting themselves a certain color they know for a fact that they're they gonna get your ass whooped. <laughs>